In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a domain email and then redirect or forward all those emails into your Gmail account. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Ken and I help businesses to grow using digital marketing. If you are new to this channel, this channel talks a lot about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you are interested in topics like that, do consider subscribing to this channel and turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can easily create a domain email. I noticed that there is some issues. I have another video which is apparently quite famous, which is how to create a domain email and then forward to Gmail using Namecheap. Right. But what if your name chip is being tied to a different hosting provider or maybe tied to different things like that? For example, you link to ClickFunnels, things like that, right? So that, that it could happen. So I have these questions being asked before as well. What other things that you can use other than using name chip direct, right? You can also use this method for any other domain providers like GoDaddy as well. Because it do happens where you are not able to redirect or forward the email directly from the domain provider into your email address, into the Gmail address. So this method is alright and it's free free. So without further ado, let me just jump into my computer so I can show you how I set this up where you can help to easily just redirect all the domain email into a Gmail account. So let's go. Alright, first of all, you log in to your Namecheap account. So your Namecheap account, currently you can see I have one domain here which is a digital lifestyle with ken.com. I'm going to redirect the emails as from here to another place. Previously, I have another video you can check in uh, one of the links somewhere and that video is show that you can redirect directly from Namecheap. So there are times where you cannot redirect directly from Namecheap because you might point the hosting to other place and things like that. So this is the time where you need to use the external software. For example, now the software that I'm going to recommend to you is Improv MX. So yeah, I have questions about asking about the redirecting and I found this to be quite good which is free to use. Um, you see create free email analysis for your domain name. So but just to be upfront for this, there is limitation for free one. I mean you can't get free things for free. There must be something somewhere they can make money, right? So um, you can go to their pricing and have a look and you can see there's only one domain for free. And max 25 aliases means 25 emails, which is I think is more than enough already, especially when you're just starting out, right? If you're a big enough company, you better invest into a better CRM system. But this is good for you to start uh, for new business owners. And then, yeah, so this is all you can read it through, right? The pricing. Uh, but uh, let me just recommend this, you to this. Um, currently, I registered with my account. Let me try to register for this account. So let's register for digital lifestyle with ken.com, right? So you go to Improv MX, you put in your domain here right and then you put into your email address that you want to redirect to right let's try to create a free aliases and boom first we just send you an email to validate account so let me just validate my account in email first right okay now you receive this email improv and max important validate your account so click on it and then you validate your email so just one step uh, accept all these things and i don't hear the feature just validate your account okay now your email has been successfully validated so you are done with the first part right so now that you see that you can just add a new, for example, can. But you see there's a red dot here, right? Red dot here means the email forwarding need to set up. So you need to set it up in order for you to have it send it out. If we just set up like this, then it'll be much easier, right? But no. Okay, let's just go to this email forwarding need setup. So just click configure your MX settings. So here, your MX current record is like this one, right? So we want to change this, right? So where do you change all this information? It's same whether you use GoDaddy or Namecheap or any other email provider, they have these options. All right, let me just go to the option, let's go manage this domain and go to advanced DNS. And you see all the CNAME record and things like that. Yeah, I targeted this to ClickFunnels, but yeah, you can add a few more records here, right? Same goes to, like I say any domain provider, just go to the DNS part and just edit accordingly. Okay, if you see like uh, the MX type, right? MX stands for the, the email type. So if you see other MX type, you please delete them and forward it to this. Unless you have your own email provider or your hosting is providing email. If not, you have to do this. So you need to delete all your previous MX records. What you do is uh, just now um, I cleared this in the mail setting. So previous in mail setting, it will be just email forwarding. This is the original email forwarding from Namecheap. So you want to remove it, change it into a uh, custom MX, right? And then you have our uh, information here. Just copy and paste. Right, type MX, uh, you put, let me see here, copy, then you put 10, then host, you just put, right, automatic, save all changes, so you add another one, just in case, copy this one, so this is 20, 
just leave it as automatic and just press save changes once you set up your MS settings so the next thing you need to set is your SPF records so where do you set SPF record just go up here click add new records here go for TXT right and then just click add this is which is the main main domain right then you just put in this uh, value copy the value then just save right now let's go back to your import MX now you check again right uh, once you put out everything you just put check again let's see then the email forwarding active because you have set up everything here and that's how you do it and then now it's here so now you can just put a new alias right can add so it's already here right every time you type this can at digital lifestyle with can.com it will be forwarded to can to use solutions at gmail.com as mentioned this is free you can put out 25 aliases i think this is good enough let's just test so now let's go to the email and you can see this was successfully added and it's verified right i think you want to test whether when you send directly using gmail itself will it be better let's just type and see so just testing redirect you see it is here so let's send so just now you see it's here right this email is working because it's sent directly from here so they send this email to this website and it appear here so this is all good so let's let's just refresh all right just now i sent an email right you see here the spam so it's here redirect testing redirect one two three so it does mention send from my email at this and then i send this is the email that i sent out and it reached to here but then it redirect to this email so it's all right the redirect is all right it's all done the, the problem is about this why you go to spam email because i send the email through the gmail account and then gmail account they'll put it under spam so all you do is just put not as spam then you can see it's appearing here and this testing is done so it shows that uh, everything is all right right you can see the email is here yeah, and that is how you just do a forwarding using Improv MX, right? So first thing you need to do, uh, let me just recap. Yeah? The first thing you need to do is just to create an account, right? Straight away set the domain that you want to forward to which email address, create an account, then follow, just follow step by step. They'll ask you to validate your account. You just validate your account. Once you validate your account, you just have to install um, all this information, uh, the MX entries and the SPF record, which you can put it into your Namecheap account. Post record, you put it TST here, and the uh, MX record, you put it here, and the email settings, right? This is quite similar to any other domain provider. So you can have a look, just have a look, uh, and then, yeah, just have a look at this software. Just introduce you to this software because I have a lot of people asking, you know, what other methods you can do to forwarding. So this is one way you can do it, right? Through this software called Improv MX, and it's free, totally free. Yeah, thank you. Yep, that's it. That's how you can easily create domain email. Uh, this is a separate service uh, called Improv MX. You can use that service to create up to 25 emails. You can create the email, then after you can forward it to your Gmail account. Now, if you're interested in looking on how to send email from Gmail, which have your domain email, I have another video on that. So just stay tuned. It's in the description box below. So yeah, you can look at that video to see how you can use the same method from the email that you have forwarded and then you can use the same email domain to use it as a way to send email out from Gmail SMB. So yeah, this, this might sound confusing but this is I think this is enough for everyone now uh, you know, just to have an email, a domain email to be direct to your Gmail account. So if there's anything that's not sure from what I mentioned just now, feel free to book in the comment section below. In, in this matter, I, I do look into it quite often because it's looking for free tools everyone like, likes that right so if you are, have any questions just put in there and then because maybe my explanation not clear where i may use a certain jargon that you don't understand so just just feel free to do that right so if you like this video do like this video give it a thumbs up uh, if you like what i share do consider subscribing to this channel turn on notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos i hope this video is useful for you and if, again if you have any comments just put in the comment section below or hit me up with all my social media if you want to consider working with me on growing your business through digital marketing. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next video. Goodbye.